DHG here. Getting back into what's possibly the rarest Call of Duty game out there. Simply because everybody was busy playing World of War on the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Most people don't even know that a game called Final Fronts was made on PlayStation 2. And I'm playing it because why not? Okinawa had been turned into a fortress island. At its center was Shuri Castle, an actual medieval royal fortress. Shuri uh, this looks like it might Japanese be the last level. And psychologically, it was the key to the island's defenses and a symbol of Japanese power and pride. If we took it, so the thinking went, we'd take Okinawa. We'd do that, and the door into Japan would be open at last. There was Emperor Hirohito. Push, and we'd finally be within sight of the end, and the road to going home. There's a lot of debate nowadays about how much he actually knew as to the inner workings of what was going on with the war. Some people say he probably didn't know that much. He was kept in the dark. It was people like Tojo that ran everything. I can't help but think that Hirohito was the emperor of Imperial Japan. How did he not know what was going on? Okay, Marines. That's Shuri Castle up ahead. Command wants us to take it, but since heavy resistance has been spotted inside, it goes by the numbers. You read me? How many in there, Sergeant? Could be a hundred in there, could be a thousand. Enough to keep us busy, that's for sure. Okay, let's move up! I'm still shocked they managed to get Kiefer Sutherland to do okay, voice acting by, for this Marines. game. We got incoming artillery to soften them up. A creeping barrage. Nobody could have survived that. Okay, smoke, Sergeant. I can't see anything moving. Marine, we need to get to that bunker line. Step on it. I can't see a thing. Attack. Are you not dead? Run for it! Wish I had a flumming buffer right about now. They're like, nobody could have survived that. Yeah, then there's all these guys. I, I would say everybody survived that. haven't watched the other episodes yet, gaming, I mean, uh, aiming in this is kind of stiff. Oh, the Type 99 LMG, they finally gave that to me. I was wondering when they were going to bust this thing out. I gotta say, the Japanese probably had the weirdest looking weapons in the entire war. Just something about this. I mean, this looks a lot like the British brand, but you look at some of their other guns. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I mean, but this looks like a one for one copy of the brand. Got a different barrel. Like it's got the charging charging handle, I guess you could call that in a different place. Oh, 
Freaking MG nest just keeps respawning. Oh, outstanding! Oh, good God! Finally, it only took me about twelve tries. Watch out! More enemies charging from the gate. They're charging. Take them out. The problem here was you had that freaking MG nest up there in the tower. You kill the gunner and he would be replaced by someone else in five seconds. But whenever he hits you, you slowed your movement. And then you get pinned down by all these dudes who just kept respawning. Every time you killed one of them, another one would jump out from there. God, that part was terribly designed. At least I didn't have to do that one. Easy, men. Take it slow. Remember, by the numbers. Miller, I want you on point. Get in there, Marine! Go, go, go! Watch those walls! Up on the wall! I wonder what Shuri Castle looks like today. Take cover! 
Japanese troops in the open! Get out of there! Open fire! Oh. Give them all you've got! Oh. You haven't heard me say it before, but thumbsticks on the PS2 are very rigid. That and I don't think the aiming in this game is very good. It makes it kind of hard to hit your target. Take with cover! Any level of accuracy. Wall. Get behind the wall! Take cover behind those low walls! They're charging us! Cut them down! Keep pushing forward, Marine! Oh, oh hell! We've got another MG! Get down! Incoming fire from that building! I need a new gun. That'll do. For now. Get to the staircase, on me! I was gonna say, I thought the MG just stopped firing at that Japanese troops in the nope. window. Oh, here's another one of these. Oh, with whopping 60 rounds of ammo. Lucky me. Right, man. The castle courtyard is through these doors. Wouldn't surprise me if they put a turret to defense here, but we need to get in, finish the sweep, and get gone. No hiccups. Polanski, open her up. You know me, sir. <clears throat> the rest of you, keep your eyes open. Oh, nice place. I suppose it survived the bombing. You think any of the units made it this far, Sergeant? Negative. Something doesn't feel right, though. Okay. Look! An opening up ahead! Get 
Take cover in position! Let him have it, Marine! The Japanese have some big anti-air guns. Oh, I can't hit them from here. That's nice. Repel Japanese Banzai Chargers. This one bogged out again. Oh, he was what running around in circles. Get your heads down, Marine! Yeah, that's it! <laughs> Take that, you bastards! Yeah, look at that! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Get on that radio. Tell the skipper the Marines have taken Shuri Castle. Pulaski, Turner, Jackson. Secure the area. Aye, aye, sir! Good job, Miller. Good job. So what now, Sergeant? We taking it all the way to Japan? That's the plan, Polanski. All the way to Tojo's doorstep. I think that was the last level. I'm not sure. <clears throat> In Call of Duty World of War, this is Call of Duty World of War Final Fronts.
In World at War, the base game, Sherry Castle was the last level. Yep, that was it. Well, there you have it. Call of Duty, World at War, Final Fronts, the last Call of Duty made for PlayStation 2.